Do you believe that you are uh, part of black culture? I be believe I'm a part of the Jamaican culture. Okay. Right. What's the difference to you? Mm. The difference to me is that what is the black culture, you cannot just define black culture as black culture because it, 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 it varies. I relate with the Jamaican culture because it's a culture that I grew up in. You know, we have black British culture, so that's a different thing. But to me, black British culture is a merge of like Jamaican, or Caribbean and, and Africa and England together. Mm. That, that, that makes the black British culture. That's what I would say. Mm. But I cannot define in one sentence to say, this is black culture. Hello guys, uh, I'm really, really grateful that uh, you have seen this video up to this point. But, but in this interview, you'll find that this uh, Jamaican dude is being confused to be a European, uh, a European. And guys, I didn't know that Jamaica has many, many nations. So let's dive into this video. Then we'll come back here and we'll discuss about Jamaicans with, with their motto, out of many out of many nations, one people. That is their motto. Now let's dive in and see if this is the true thing. Can I ask a quick question? Of course. Um, when did you decide that you were Jamaican? Was it when you came back over here? Was it when someone asked you? Like, was there an experience where you just felt, I identify as a Jamaican man? Let me explain to you there. And I don't know if I've ever said this on an interview anywhere yet, but my mother before me, she um, had a miscarriage. So when she was pregnant with me, she could have gave birth to me in Jamaica. Right. But where we live, the hospitals weren't great. So obviously she has that opportunity to leave. Once she had me and did the checks, three months on a plane back to Jamaica. So from there until what I know has been that. So yeah. I, it's not like I wake up one day and say, oh, five-year-old, I want to be Jamaican. <laughs> oh, 10-year-old, I think I'm Jamaican. 12-year-old, yeah, cool. I'm definitely Jamaican. Yeah. It's just what's inside, you understand what I mean, brother? To call yourself a Jamaican, that's, that's interesting um, because you said that you weren't born there. But I guess if the community to which you kind of were raised in, which is Jamaica, obviously, if they've embraced you, the large swabs of them and stuff, and if you've got citizenship, I don't know if you have, but yeah, from where I come... Uh, Harry, do you have a Jamaican passport? Yes, I do. So, cool. so this is that's I, I find it interesting as well because how do you decide why you are I'm from Jamaica my parents well my grandparents are from Jamaica yeah. my dad's born there my mum was born here you probably would know more about Jamaica than me just because I'm black now no one if I said I'm Jamaican no one's going to question me it is yeah, you're just yeah, Jamaican exactly. but you probably know how to cook yard food you know how to do all that's of that my life. better than me so then who um, who are we to tell him actually no you're not Jamaican just because he but the, is the, he's the white is, is, is I went to school in Jamaica so when people are um when when people here are talking about oh you can't you cannot represent the culture you're not from Jamaica you're not this like that you know nothing about the black culture and I'm like you were born here, you were raised here, you went to school here. That means if you went to school for like, how, how, what's it, what, how long do you go to school when you're here? Like what? Too long. Like, so how many years? <laughs> Just say that, like 12 years well, or something. Yeah, yeah, about that, like, yeah, yeah. So 14 years. Realistically, they only taught you, what, 14 months of black history. My whole schooling was black history. So I learned everything about the culture. So we, 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 when I'm in school, we don't have a month to say, this is white um, history month because we have to accept that white yard. I don't care about that. I'm there to learn and I'm, this, I'm not even there to learn. I'm just going with what I know is life. Would you say that uh, someone like white yardy is culture appropriating? No, not at all. I think that, you know, not, not least because he actually has some connection to many of these um, parts of the world, but he clearly doesn't have intentions to denigrate, to humiliate or to um, make a particular culture inferior in the eyes of the majority of society. He's clearly doing it uh, from a sense of appreciation and a yeah. sense of sharing love. And I think that that is something that is positive. But White Yardy, Harry, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, and I think that you've been a very valued member of this panel. Also, first... <laughs> <laughs> after just, the break... We just, we just clapped. I know, for the white man. <laughs> Clap your cheeks for the white man. No. After the break, oh, we'll wow. be joined by the gorgeous rapper Miss Banks, who... Hey, uh, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen a lot of, a lot of people. I was even confused that there are also some Chinese who are Jamaicans. There are also some Spains. There are also some Europeans. There are also some black people. So uh, I'm just coming to a conclusion that uh, 
there are a lot of Jamaicans uh, who are not even Europeans. They are also referred to be a black people. Now, guys, in this video, I wanted to teach. I wanted to teach. I'm, I'm only spe I'm speaking to the Jamaicans, and I'm also speaking to the Africans. Yeah, and to these Jama uh, Africans, I want to educate you by saying that uh, Jamaica is a nationality. That the race is the African race, and that African race is our race. So, then when you are determining or state what your ethnicity, your ancestors, are, your culture is, then you will find that there is a very, very huge difference between the race, nationality, ethnicity, and even culture. So, I, I come to believe that we need to know our culture. Like this guy said, he was, our mother was from a certain region, but there's a, there's a way that is being called a, a Jamaican. Now, also, I'm also teaching my Africans again that uh, uh, when you are born in America, when you are born in the United States of America, then you need to know that you belong to that property. As much as, as, as long as, even as long as you are born in that land, you belong to that land and you are a citizen of that land. There are some cases that I've seen and I've heard that African parents went to America, then they gave birth to the child. Now when they wanted to go to move back to their homeland, they were being refused and they are being told that they need to take, they need to leave that child behind. So there's a lot of scenarios. And this is also the same, same thing that is happening in the Jamaica. I don't know if that's the application they are using. Because you'll find that there are a lot of nationality, right from black, Latinos, what, what, and these people, they are not called I am a European, I am a, a what, no, they are called Jamaicans, and that is the thing that I love about Jamaicans. Now, in these comments, uh, I I came uh, came some I wanted to jot some few points, then which I'm going to read for you. Then, I think we'll be just be over with there. Now. Jamaicans are not Europeans, they are black people, and European immigrants are immigrants, and not black or African, because many immigrants of European descent may be living in the highland, but you are a European, you can't be person of Africa or black, etc. There is a difference between race, nationality, and that Jamaicans are African stock, so they are there are many be other uh, ethnic groups, but all people of European stock are just that. That their ancestry, fifth, fifth, uh, fifth people of European background are really, really immigrants who originated from European ancestry. They are Europeans. It doesn't, it doesn't, does not matter how long they have been there. They haven't been there for a very, very long time. They are still Europeans, even if we help. To, to school them there. Black people been in this country and are aware here that first, without all these people claiming now to be Jamaicans, which really you, they are not aware of, that they are not the owner of this country. Like, Africans built and initiated the construction of this country. The few Caucasians were tried to slavery and plantations. Owners who were businesses as well Jamaicans are people or Indians who, who are here from early and could not return to India after their contract of work exposed. Indian reject, uh, rejected these people and they could not assimilate in their caste system. And at the end of their, in the, at the end of their period, everyone else except blacks were immigrants and black people are stolen people and people who who were who uh, were treated like poor and were stolen from Africa and were enslaved. That nationality was built on and by the enslaved people. Everyone else are uh, are immigrants, especially if they haven't been here for too long. So these Caucasians are immigrants, even if they are born there or went to school there. They are still immigrants. They are still immigrants or settlers and therefore are still considered to be immigrants, especially Caucasians and these Chinese 
uh, especially the more recent ones who stayed after their in after their labor labor uh, period was over they are also called immigrants now those ones are immigrants from their country like european and many many more now these jamaicans are also black people and they are the first and people who worked in the plantation and built the jamaica okay now europeans are also from this from regions near the state of near the caucasian mountain and they do not originate in the tropical region having ancestral to european now jamaican motto is uh, out of many one people most people uh, most jamaicans are mixed so this program people believe that it is very very stupid and <laughs> and yeah that they are very very stupid and white people were were in jamaica before black people hmm. okay and why was that discussion with uh, white necessary because i i feel some of these people take this wokenism way too far mm -hmm. okay guys uh I don't know what you need to know about this, but uh, what I am coming to a conclusion is that uh, racism is a construct which was created by the Western to divide, conquer, and rule the the black people. Remember, this is just a construct. That means that it is just an imaginable thing that you are a black person, so you need to be inferior. You are a brown person. You are a uh, white person so you need to be superior and that's how they conquered and divided now uh, i also have an history here that uh, people forget britain ruled jamaica for 400 years and chinese and indians were brought there by 18th century and the first people are arawaks jamaicans out of many one people that's the motto my parents and were born and raised in now we do not let although uh jamaican nation consists of mostly negroes uh they have rich diverse culture ethnicity and even the bible itself never spoke on race it speaks on nations tribes and tongues so uh our nation has chinese caucasians indians latinos etc and they are really really proud and celebrate all their people now the racial differences is of little or no importance to the Jamaicans. Like racial hate was uh, was taught to us through television and camera and cinema. Naturally, most of the Caucasians here are far better off financially, but this was inherited from the days of slavery. And we as uh, Jamaicans uh, as learned to look beyond skin color and see the person. Uh, calling you by your race is not even disrespectful here every asian man is usually referred to as Ms. mr chin uh, white people may be called whitey and negroes arrange from dudus or albinos to jet black but it is just the way we get we greet each other and love most now for most part we are very very loving and respectful and we try also as much as possible to avoid this confrontation that must cross our line that with us you will totally understand the errors of your ways we are diverse strong proud hardworking, ambitious and easygoing we are jamaicans out of many one people okay the, the thing that i want to tell you is that uh, jamaicans do not let the divide and conquer uh, divide jamaicans like jamaicans with no black and white race bullshit any anyone come to jamaica with that will band together and drive them away out of many people we are one and the majority don't <laughs> that around yo i've learned histories and histories and i believe too you also learned that uh, jamaicans are the people built uh, jamaica but there are some people who are who are building that who are also brought there to to build Jamaica, but they were left there immediately after the Indians refused to take their people away. You remember there's a time in the news that there are some Indians who were supposed to travel to India but were brought to Jamaica illegally. So 
it is just the same same thing that has always happened otherwise out of many one people